Fanny. <laughs> Thug is home. Thug is home. She's screaming. She's still prosecuting this nigga. She, <laughs> she don't agree with the judge. She's really like riding, riding nigga up to really like not, not letting she it go. She really dread. She really want to bring Thug shit back. Yeah, she do. And it just, to me, it's just like, damn, like, you really dread that about that nut situation. Like, you was dating him, allegedly. She making it so obvious that that's not, that, that's true. That it's like a personal It's vendetta. clear. It's clear. It's clear. You, you was letting nuts slam you back in the day. You feel away. You, you feel show, away. You, you need to get some type of vindication. And it's showing. Yo, yo, we are back, we are back, episode 172, we're all set, Paul Cash, your boy Rich is here. Free here, I'm in the building, I'm on the check-in, hello. We here, it's fucking election day. Election Tuesday. It's big, it's November 5th, you know what I mean, you see I got my Godspeed president shirt on for when doomsday hits y'all niggas, it's gonna be over. Reminder that whoever wins... Just put Jesus first. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Yo, man. put God first is insane. Yeah, but nah, I mean, we're going to need God regardless, B. For real shit. God ain't Don't going forget, nowhere. Don't forget, like, rent's still going to be due. You still got to pay your bills. Don't start crying if it don't go your way. Rent was already due. I hope you handled that. <laughs> yeah, man. Hello. Rent was already due. Yeah, big day. Uh, Rich, you voted. Yeah. Copy. I made a big hoover balloon on the gram this morning. Hey, you know shout, I mean? shout out to Rich being able to vote. You know what I mean? Felon. Got his rights back restored. Lit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what's so crazy? A lot of people don't know. Um, The state of Georgia, you don't have to do anything. Like, as soon as you get all papers, you automatically you can automatically vote again. Back, like, a lot of states, you got to do a lot. You got to fill out paperwork. And they might might just tell you SMD regardless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in Georgia, you can do anything. As long as you have papers, you can vote again. You know what I mean? I'm mad because shout to Georgia. I forgot to update my address, so I still gotta vote in the nasty precinct. Like, Where you gotta I, go to trenches? Yeah, not the trenches, but like up the highway type shit. Oh, good night, because I still have my baby mom's old address from like four years ago. Oh I wow, just never changed my shit. Oh wow. So yeah, that's where we're at. Yeah, I had a cool little environment to go vote in on some little Episcopal church on Priest Street okay, at yeah. St. Luke's joint. Yeah. Um, it was calm in there, a bunch of old ladies just met, telling you where to go. A lot of old black ladies just move, maneuvering and shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. It was calm. I was confused in there at first. I ain't, I mean, I never voted before my whole life, so I was like, I don't even know what to do. But, I mean, it was pretty simple. I am, I am, I will say I'm disappointed in the fact that there's so many people running un, un, unopposed. Like, <laughs> like it's just open season. It's just open season, bro. It's yeah. like, it's mad incumbents just chilling, running unopposed. unopposed. And I feel like we need new blood in government. We like we need to, we need to start running for shit. Like yeah, we like, need new judges, new sheriffs. Yeah, we need shit. like regular like people think that it's above them for some reason, or whatever. Like back in back in the day, regular niggas used to run for shit all the time. We need yeah. to bring that back. You feel yeah. me? Like yeah. if you don't got no f's and no crazy background, get involved in government. You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard. You Change know what I mean? some laws. Yeah, yeah. It's not, and it's not really that complicated to do. You know what I'm saying? And to be real, I'm not even abreast of all the positions because I'm voting for the. I mean, they incumbents. They already in there. They got titles. I don't even know what 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 job is that. I don't even know what that shit really. What he really do for a living in that joint. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like I don't know what that is. Tax controller, come pro controller. We definitely controller. gotta get more well versed. We definitely need some more people in politics because you know what I mean. Especially outside of the president, it's those other positions yeah. that really greatly affect your day to day life. So we be need mindful to of that. Go back to teaching civics. Go yeah. back to teaching civics in school. Like teach people what these what these. I remember when I was in school, are. they had a program. It was like from at my after school program called Teens in Office, and it was like you shadow somebody who was had who was in politics. So That's I remember beautiful. I shadowed this city council lady. That shit was fire. That's like, beautiful. More of that needs to be going on. Yeah, nah, that was dope. Shout out to um Diane, but um yeah, let's get into it. News of the week: Thug is out of jail. Damn, you was going, we done with the election talk already? Oh, I, are you going to tell them who you voted for? <laughs> I mean, I voted for Kamala. Copy. I voted for Kamala. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't vote for white supremacy. And I was going, I was going, just going to leave it alone. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to touch the president. But at the end of the day, to leave, to not, to leave it alone is to give him a leg up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even, I don't even got beef with Trump per se. But everything behind them, it's too much white supremacy going on, B. It is nasty. I can't, behind them. I can't 
empower white supremacy. Even though I don't like how Kamala got the spot, at the end of the day, I can't empower white supremacy. B. I just can't do it. B. No matter what comes with Kamala, it's not going to be all roses. She got a lot of she she got a lot of she, she controlled by a lot do. of people. Yeah, she is, is people with hands in her pocket too. Don't get crazy. Who's the president right now? I feel like we haven't had a president for two months. I mean, Joe <laughs> Biden. Joe, put Biden, Joe Biden to the back. <laughs> nah, Biden chilling. He, I mean, he the, the, the Democratic He's Party chilling. packed exactly. them up, so they yeah. they're not allowing them to do too much public shit. But yeah, I mean, Biden's still here. He's still doing what he wants. <laughs> He's here. He's chilling. Let's yeah. just say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Elon's going crazy. Elon going crazy. He about to sleep with Trump, Pauls. <laughs> they say about to have a sleepover. Like, what's that tonight? about? Like, for real. I don't. And that's another thing. Like, talk to me. I don't like the like the the obvious. You're gonna owe me vibes. Like, Elon is clearly setting up, setting up. Like, you owe. Oh yeah, for sure. Like if if Trump win, you owe. She like gonna be, she gonna make sure everything's situated for Tesla and wherever they at in Texas, whatever yeah. tax breaks he needs. Like come on, like, yeah. Let's be clear. It's like so obvious. It's like bro, if if you win, you owe Elon. You know what I mean? Like if if you if you win, you gonna have to kick out some government secrets to Putin. Like you owe. Like there's too many niggas you owe, and I don't like that energy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yo. Will I quick segue? Will I am just dropped a song <laughs> for um Kamala, Nasty. and it was like the Boondocks really came to yeah. life because I remember that episode when they the Boondocks are slowly coming to life. It's between Boondocks and Simpsons giving yeah. you early predictions. They slow, like, they're slowly sure. coming to life. Mm. At the end of the day, the Kamala circus is still a circus. Every celebrity now pop, popped out, running for her all of a sudden. Everyone. They said all the ones for the Diddy list, which is nasty work, but again. I will say this. They put whatever, like, they got Kamala. They put a lot of money behind her campaign. They got that shit up and running fast, quick, and in a hurry. Like, as soon as they say, yeah, Joe Budden's out, like, they made sure to know, like, yeah, Kamala's here. So, yeah, her campaign I mean, manager, they did a great job. They deserve a raise. And whoever that is, shouts to them. I mean, they yeah, got... they, they, veteran, they veteran political niggas. Like, they gave Biden the word, like, yo, fam, we're not putting no bread behind you. Yeah, like, we're quiet. tucking the bread, like. Then, oh yeah, all right. We gonna we could talk the we could throw the bread behind the, bro, the, the brown bread behind, woman behind Kamala for sure behind the brown woman. Like you know what I mean, like at the end of the day, I'm always up for. I respect the good AKA. Like let's, I'm always with that. With that, like, throw it out there. Fuck it. Happy. I'm fucking with her. Um, Fanny, fuck you. Always voting against you. Doug is home. Doug is home. She's screaming. She's still prosecuting the rest of the niggas. She's not hearing it. She don't agree with the judge. She's really like riding, riding niggas nuts and really like not letting she it go. She really dread. She really want to bring thug shit back. Yeah, she do. And it just to me, it's just like damn, like you really dread that about that nut situation. Like you was dating him allegedly. She making it so obvious that that's not that that's true. That it's like a personal. It's clear. Ever. It's clear. It's clear. You were, you was letting nuts slam you back in the day. You feel away. You, you feel away. You, you need to get some type of vindication, and it's showing. Um, thug came home. During the trial, he well during his like closing statements, he just he requested he be allowed to make music with Gunna, and then he um tweeted yesterday, let's drop some music on these rats to to baby. See now, if you listen to the words closely of Brian Steele in the courtroom, he said he is contractually obligated to make music with Gunna. Copy. He didn't say yo I love he loves Gunna so much that he, he the words was very clear. He's contractually obligated to make music with this man, and you can't stop him from doing shit he, that he's contractually obligated to do. You can't make a court order that makes him in breach of his contract. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. That's really what he, he was saying. And I felt like Thug maybe just wanted to get permission to do as many things as possible. I was thought I thought I was about to have to eat crow. You feel yeah. me? Because I've been I've been riding the fuck out of here gunner train for mad long. Niggas was hitting me like, yo, how you feel now? Ah. Uh, uh. And right back in your face. Because <laughs> Thug just said, wham, let's drop on these rats. Yeah. And Baby was publicly against Gunner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So It's still whatever wham say go. Yeah. I didn't forget that. Uh, 15 years probation. As someone who's been on it, what's the Fulton County situation? It's like five to seven good years he'd be off it. Way before that. Way before that. Way before that. I mean, he's going to pay his fines, do his woo de woo Like... Fulton County had possibly the lightest probation situation you've ever seen in your life. Like, okay. especially since he's not even gonna live in Fulton County. He's mm -hmm. not, if he's not gonna live in Fulton County, they fuck around. If they do transfer it to somewhere else, the wherever they transfer to is not gonna care as much as wherever locked you up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then 
Fulham County is just a sweet place to be on probation because it's like if you don't fuck up, if you don't fuck up for like a year, you know what I'm saying? Then it's non-report. We might call you every now and then. If they might put you on phone report for like a year. Like you just got to call them once a month, let them know you ain't get, get locked up. And then after that, it's like they put you on non-report and it's like, yo, just don't get arrested. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you sweet. You in the, you in the win. Thug, thug's rich as fuck. He probably be on probation in like two or three years. And without they gonna do it very quietly though. I'm not gonna make a big scene out of it, but yeah, he's gonna he's gonna ride off into the sunset. He's good. Yeah, how excited are you for some new music? I'm very, I'm hype. Hype, copy. I'm copy. hype. I mean, everywhere. I mean, I was hearing Thug out of like half the calls at the gas station like the past past couple of days. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Nah, for sure. It's been a lot of Thug. It's been a lot of Thug. Parade on Bleeveland, man. Nah, for sure. It's definitely been a lot of Thug. Um, unfortunate we're never gonna get another collab with Rich Homie. God bless the dead. But I'm again, I'm happy that he's home. Yeah, I, I want to hear, I want to hear his R.I.P. Rich Homie song too. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like he's gonna give me, he's gonna give that. me something. Something, you know what I mean? Just brought, you know, a little, bring a little clarity and closure to yeah. the supporters. I feel like he's gonna give me something for sure. You know what I mean? But um, I shout the thug. I'm just happy. I'm ha- I don't like to see niggas in jail. If you ain't do no weird shit like touch kids or rape nobody, like free niggas be like yeah. that's where I'm at. So, yeah, man. I mean he he he. I mean he went he he wagged them niggas, b. No other way to put it, he wagged the shit. He, he sat really down sat for a couple, for like three, two, three years. He right? sat two for half. yeah, he sat for a couple, but I mean what he was facing, he was wagged nasty. he wagged yeah. the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of the day, everybody technically everybody wins. The 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 the, the court system still got their conviction. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's all they really care about. At the end of the day is the stats. You know what I'm saying? It's funny with her bullshit with her with her with her fucking um. Vendetta, personal vendetta that's really held up the whole situation. This could have been over. You know what Facts. I'm saying? Fanny, Fanny rolling out the victim, rolling out nut family into the courtroom. That was crazy. What? And it had the and it had the people trying like, yo, the DA really wants them to make this statement. The judge is like, bro, this is not a murder trial. Like, what are you talking about? Like, nah, that was all the way gross. Um, Ridiculous. There's a lot of theatrics, shit going on. Mad theatrics. But it's funny too because. I also want to do a quick segue because it's like every time it's like one comes out, another one goes in because drill rapper Dougie B just got arrested. He facing 25 to life for robbing a little kid. He's uh, a clown. Just robbing niggas <laughs> and he just crashing out. It's I just mean, nasty work for these niggas. These little, like, I, I don't even call these little niggas rappers. The little nigga with a song or two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're not, you On the beat, just talking shit about niggas. You don't do this for real. Yeah. yeah, you don't do this shit for real. You never, yeah. Have you even been on tour? Like, you don't do this shit for real, my nigga. You a little nigga that made a song or two, didn't figure out how to keep it going, and now you crashing now out. Now you crashing out. God bless. That's like 98% of them. You know what yeah. I mean? New York is a travesty. New York music game is a travesty. It's disgusting. Like, I will say New York City is a travesty. Because, yeah. you know, I've been promoting upstate for the last week and a half. Yo, I feel like they put out quality music in the last two weeks. Real, real fast. When I say, all right, New York is discussing thirty and under. Yeah, I agree. The young niggas is is, is it's, crashing it's out. Trash. The young niggas have like, did you listen to Hove or not? Like, we grew up off Jay and Big and shit like and Kiss and shit like There's that. There's no young niggas from New York that's like make me like, okay, yeah, we got something. The last it, one was Pop Smoke, and yeah, that was it. But even like, even. Fuck, even I musically the music you're making that's one but even like just on a mindset tip, like on a how you moving through life, like you know what I'm saying? It's like they where's your influences coming from? I will it's say this. City. I like Forty One. You know, I talked to you about them. They yeah. kind of made like a segue. with it. Them niggas went to college, so you know they rap okay. about the dumb shit. But they, you know, you could tell they got real management behind them. They making real songs. They they not just doing the drill shit no more. Okay. Like they done branched out. They I like that. Worked with real artists. I like that. They actually have songs. Like I don't know. I was talking about this on my story. A lot of shit with the drill shit. And the reason why that shit don't chart because it's not even real songs. Like let's bring back solid verse, yeah. bridge, chorus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fifty Cent prime example of that. Like he was popping because he knew how he could rap, but he made quality songs that had good bridges. Good choruses. Go go shorty. It's yeah. your birthday. That's the bridge. That, you can find me in the club. That's the chorus. And the, if like, 50, the fuck? 50, 50 influence on Pop Smoke is what helped Pop Smoke yes. become a, a com- yes. more complete artist. Yes. You know what I'm Pop saying? Smoke. Without 50, Pop, Pop Smoke. He got good songs. Yeah, dude. without 50, Pop would just be a nigga yelling. Exactly. But he knew early on, like, yo. He, I need, he it, I need, a, I need he, something else. Real shit. I'm, funny you brought up 50. I watched the interview with 50. He said, yo, when I met Pop, 
He said Pop had a note bag, and I he was like he yelled at him first because he thought he was like wasn't like listening, paying attention. He was like writing down what he was saying. He was writing out everything he was saying. Yeah, 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 and like you could hear it, like he yeah. you could tell like it's he like, he like a baby fifty. He applied it for sure. So that was really a travesty. That was that that hurt the New York City yeah, sound a for lot. For sure, I mean, and, and promote and pumping up niggas like six nine and whatnot. Yeah, you you, you put fraudery in the forefront because niggas was just wanting something to hold on yeah, to. Yeah, that's yeah. really what that was. It was just like we need something to hold on. And I, I ain't gonna lie, when he first came out, I was just I was like, you know. It's some different shit. Yeah. He got a little Mexican nigga. He's, Bitch was hard right. at first. He was all right. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. Bitch and he had the back end too. So yeah. he was like, you got the trades with him. Like, yeah. all right, fuck it. Yeah. But um, there's just no identity in New York. These niggas all want to sound like everybody else. Yeah. Nobody has no original sound. Like I'd say the only people who could really rap are some of the girl drill rappers. And that's then it's sad. just like, like that's sad, but that's where we at. That's where we at. Ice Spice is not um, hitting the same. She done lost a lot of weight. Ice but, Spice, like, I don't know what happened to Ice on, Spice. She might be on real drugs, like drug drugs. You know what I mean? Um, but I wanna talk about real fast, I wanna talk about upstate. Let's do it. This new West Side gun shit is very, very, very fire. It's fire, bro. Um Still praying is the name of it. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not familiar, you got Sid Vicious on the cover. Big <laughs> funny um, with that. You know I mean? Yo, I peace psycho Sid. You know what I mean? Yo, Yo I, and I'm really, really happy because when it first dropped, when you was you was promoting it real hard, free. When I, I had tapped in, and I was disgusted because he had DJ Drama yelling all over this shit. I'm like, uh, what the fuck? Why are you doing this again? But he took that shit off the DSPs. The streaming is no long. There's no more DJ Drama yelling all over it, and it sounds beautiful. And I and I like the EP he put out right before. The, yeah, um, Ballad for Dump. Ballad for Dump, RP Inf. Shout to Inf, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That shit, know, man, you got to give him a moment. You got to shout to Inf, you know what I mean? RP, threw him on the cover. He did right by you. Um, the song he dedicated to you, honestly, is my favorite song on the album, Big Dump Ballad. He talking his shit. He got Keisha Plum. She talking her shit. And I think, I think we talked about it plenty of times before with Gun. Like, he's a master curator, and he's... His beat pick and his pause is like yeah. up there with the best of them. I, don't I ain't gonna nobody say. Keisha Plum, Keisha Plum was really hurt on that drink. You can hear. I should almost brought a tear to my eye. I'm she, like, she, she damn. Was, I'm like, damn, B, that shit like, fucked she was up. Talking real shit. Wow, she was trembling and all type of yeah. shit. I'm like, that's crazy, son. I like that, that joint. I like the Kane Tejada joint on there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I will say, I think Benny had the worst verse on Still Praying, if you keep it in a buck. What? You wasn't feeling Benny joint? It was cool, but I just think it was the worst one. I like Stove Guy was still Stove out. came on there. Stove Guy was I talking went shit. Yeah, yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? That he was nigga talking was shit. Fretting. Oh, my God. I like how <laughs> Gun and Conway came on heavy early, like, when they back-to-back -back yeah. shit. You know what I mean? And you know I'm a boldy niggas. I just felt like Benny shit was the least on the, was the least that made me go like, oh, I, my God. God. Nah, that, he man, was talking. You his know shit? me. I'm, you know that Boldy verse. Boldy was come, been coming hard lately, but that Boldy verse was not. It was it to calm. Me. Not to me at least. I was like, he could have gave you a little more energy on that. Copy. But I mean, Benny, Benny, right now, you know what it was? I didn't even expect him to be on that. At that point, I was like, damn, they left Benny. Like Benny ain't even on this joint. Ain't and then he lie. just came out of nowhere, like, oh, all right. In Benny's defense, I. We briefly talked about it on a previous episode. He, I told you, I like how he showed up on the shit with Thirty Eight Special. That's true. That's that's shot, really too. what I was gonna rep. Like, like he, at this he, point, he, he kind of do no wrong. At how hard he came on stabbing he shot came, too. He came hard on stabbing shot too. So it's like I let him ride. But um, yeah, it's just unfortunate. Um, the state of New York City rap, just up north in general. Yeah, I don't really know what niggas is doing. I don't know. I think it's the drugs. Yeah, it's the, it's the drugs. It's the outside influences. It's 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 a lot of shit. Niggas is looking up to the wrong shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but and honestly, well, it's the drugs and the lack of education. Cause niggas really slow. Like a lot of niggas can't read. Yeah. Like this, yeah, I don't I hate to say it, but I feel like this generation is like really dumber. Yeah, we you know talked I mean? about this, like, I don't know if it was last episode or the episode before that. We talked about this, like, niggas is too dumb to be niggas nice. Niggas is too dumb, to, exactly. We niggas is really too this. dumb to be nice. So that's, you can tell. And you so it's tell. like, you know, again, and it's not like Griselda and them niggas is young niggas. They just, they're new, but they are old too. So that yeah. helps, like, they got, I, I can relate to them because they got, like, a more mature outlook and perspective and shit yeah. that they talk about. You know what I mean? As niggas who's older, been through certain shit, so... Oh. Shout out to Upstate, the one that's doing their thing. I want to say, outside of New York, there's some real hard, heavy shit you dropping say right now. You say Boss Man The Plug? Was that what you was telling me about that? Who? What's, what's the name The Plug? What's the fattening name, man? Oh, X, Big X The Plug. Big X The Plug. Yeah, I call it Boss Man The Plug. Big, Big X, X, X The, the plug. plug album is fire. I dropped a couple weeks ago. Um, I heard Moochie Great shit was IPRE, nigga. Yeah, I'm not listening to that shit. Um, oh, damn, it's in front of Moochie. <laughs> 
Nah, bro. Nah, Bucci, that's not, bro. That, I ahead. mean, that's just not the subject matter that I'm into right oh, now. Oh, it's wild me? ignorant, but yeah. it's like good beats and shit. Nah, cool. that's not what I'm... But as far as like that same lane or uh, uh, older talking that shit, like get on your shit shit, if you need to know, Payroll Giovanni just dropped another album he last week. Hustle Music. Very, very serious. If you bout... If you, if you, if you bout... Get into the next level in life and that when that mind and that brainwave, yeah. You tap in with that payroll for sure. Tap, tap in with that payroll Giovanni. Tap in with that YG Tech. You know what I mean? YG Tech just dropped some new shit, Baltimore niggas. What's up with Money Man? I always liked his his message. His um message. I think Money out? Man dropping some shit. Did, I think I seen him seen him I feel dropping like I seen some shit. He got soon. some shit on the way. I think either he dropping some shit soon or he might have slid it out there already. Pause. I'm about to hold up. Hold up. Cause I seen him gearing up, but I don't know if he dropped nothing. Oh, damn. Yeah, he dropped. Yeah, oh, shit. Money Man dropped on October 11th. I missed this. Well, Money Man dropped 17 joints. I got to tap in with this. Money Man is Zaytoven, too. Yeah, I'm going to have to tap in. Money Man going to give you what you need. I got to tap in with this. We gonna have, I'm going to let y'all niggas know what I, what I feel on this next episode. Um... Lil Uzi just dropped. Disgusting. <laughs> you call it disgusting? I, ain't I mean, I ain't listen to it, but yeah. it's like, at this point, you feel me? Like, I gotta give him a spin. He got the nerve to call it Eternal Ataki, too. I'm like, Uzi, you gotta stop this shit, B. Yeah, if it's not, the first one was fire. Yeah. But, um, we'll see. I'm yeah. not gonna speak on it I don't know. Yet. Like, is he still a cross-dressing punk rocker? Or like, what's he Who doing now? He but you know what's funny? Like, in Uzi defense, he did his, like, when he won a rap, and not just be on the off the wall shit like his shit with Future is really underrated and fire to me. That album's tough. That album is fucking fire. That album's tough. Like I don't niggas don't really talk about it enough, but like I be still listening. To it, I'm like, who's he really spit on this show? Like he he can rap when he that wanna rap. Tough. That album is tough. So I'm gonna give it a spin. I haven't. I've been you know stuck on still praying, and uh, um, the dedication of Big Dump joint. But um, yeah, we gonna see what Uzi talking about. It's only right. Shout out to Philly. Yeah, I, I'm I'm back and forth between payroll and West Side shit right now. Copy. I gotta, yeah, I gotta respect that. I'm throwing YG Tech shit in there in the middle too every now and then. But yeah, I think it's good. It's it's, a, it's some good. It's some good fourth quarter. Get your breach up music out right now. If you're not focused, get focused and, and tap in with niggas. Be for sure, for sure. I will say. Yeah. I gotta stand up. Um, we won't get into the Let's drip. Drip report. We got mad sports to talk about next half. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Nah, nah. We got that's 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 sports. I forgot. I was gonna say we gotta talk about Drake, but that's next. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say that's that for sports. Sports, sports, sports. Um, listen up. Hello, if you're new to the show, if you're not, you notice know the drip report. I let y'all know what's going on in fashion, things you need to be on the look for, things you need to stay away from. This week in fashion, I want to talk about. It's a lot of collabs going on. It's, a lot it's of almost collabs. because it's crazy to me because I feel like a lot of brands is almost just throwing shit at the wall and just trying shit out. Please and buy us. Stick. Somebody buy it, please. Like, yeah, please buy it. Um, <laughs> a collab y'all might not be aware of that's out that is kind of fire that I might invest in is Saint Laurent and New New Era have a collab out. Whoa. They drop fitteds. Yep. So they got the same. And honestly, it's like I would the the collabs are a little bit lazy. I'm gonna keep it a buck. But Whoa. it's like it got the Saint Laurent and they give you the new era, so it's like oh, uh, uh, it's like brim action, and then they got different styles. Like the way they did the Saint Laurent is fire. Like they got it. Some of the hats got the Saint Laurent small letters yeah. right here. Some got the old school YSL. If you a big, like, if you a big, if you big, big new big, ever, if you a new ever, if you nigga, new era, nigga, you gotta grab that. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, I'm a fitted nigga. I was looking, they got a green. I'm like, damn, I might just gotta jump in. It's only right. So if you a fitted nigga, look out for that. If you um, ever, nigga, for sure. Supreme did a nasty collage with Mitchell and Ness that I'm not really too fond of. I'm gonna be real though. Everybody's hating on it, but that Listen, North Carolina hockey right, jersey is fire. Say, it's fire in the sense that. They really just copied old starter shit and then threw Supreme on it. Like that's I'll give it like they got fire designs, but I feel like it's just lazy. It's just like I could have just went and got stolen started. vintage. It's stolen vintage. It's they stolen slapped vintage. Supreme on it. That's like, like come on, cut this shit. <laughs> the niggas just stole the vintage shit and cut like they got some sturdy joints, but it's it'd be lazy to me, like, oh yeah, just threw yeah. the Supreme on it. Like, and I'm not gonna I'm Who's not gonna wake direct over there now. I'm there. not waking up at nine o'clock nine o'clock in the morning to fight no bots for that. Line and I'm up. not playing recess. Not lining so up good. not lining up and battling no, no, no. Asians and nah, Filipinos. I'm not doing that, bro. The new Supreme. But Who's like you said, direct over there now. Some there? of the shit they got a Miami shit I like. The Carolina shit is fire. They got a Georgetown setup that's tough. But again, it's stolen vintage. It's not like too yeah, creative. Yeah. So it's like, huh. Yeah. That's um, true. 
who else? Knicks and Kiff, they got to collab. They collab is fire. I will I've say that. You Knicks, seen all the Knicks niggas. If you a Knicks nigga, tap in. Like, they got leathers. They got hoodies. They got all types of shit. But the leathers is really sturdy. Yes, they are about 1500 um, but I mean, if you, it's a leather. That's, that's a leather. That's, yeah, yeah, you gonna keep forever. Like the fuck. If you in New York, you need good leather. Like holla at the Kip shit. But um, yeah, that's the drip report. It's a lot of collabs going on out there. Pick what you like. I'm not too fond of the Supreme, but do you your got, own are research. Are you jacking that Yankees Ralph Lauren oh, shit? Oh yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Duh. Shout to the Yankees, even though they lost. You know Ralph Lauren is from the Bronx. I I definitely highlighted that. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yankees and Ralph Lauren do have a collab. But I will say with them, y'all niggas worried about price. A lot of they shit is purple label with Yankee shit. Like they jackets is like five thousand yeah, well, dollars. Don't get it crazy. fucked up. Like the sweater is fifteen hundred, and that's yeah. the regular Ralph Yankee sweater. So yeah. if you want to get into the Yankees Ralph Lauren joint, you gonna have to spend a couple of dollars. Again, quality timeless garments. You can always wear a Yankees coat. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. So again, I tell niggas this: I will never promote spending a bunch of money on clothes, but I understand spending a couple of dollars on timeless quality garments that you want to keep for the next five to ten. At the end of the so, day, when you when you do back out and spend that kind of paper on those kind of threads, they last. They do last. Like like it's they not it's not it's not your shit from Sheen where the threads start coming out and bro, all that. Like you, if kid, you're taking your shit to the cleaner, it's gonna last. It's gonna last years, bro, years, years, years. You be good. I got a PRPS leather jacket and like. 2010, still could wear it. Like my yeah. Canada Goose from 09, even though we're in a different climate, it, it's still wearable. I would have said last exactly. night, that shit since 09. It was exactly. 15 years. It was a stack, but it was a real purchase, and I'm exactly. never going to sell it. Exactly. So, yeah, quality pieces, they last long. Shout out to, um, shout out to Kiff, though, because you know what? I need y'all to come through with a Cowboys collaboration. I know Roddy Feig, you know what I mean? You from New York, but I mean, let's, let's show love to the Cowboys. Blue and gray, some good colors you could do there. But yeah, that's what's going on the Drip Report tap in. We got a lot more to talk to y'all about in the second half. We got some sports shit coming up. Elite Scumbaggery. I actually have an idea for the Elite Scumbaggery, but I know it's your segment, so I'm going to mix it to you off camera. And then, yeah, oh, we'll get into that. But yeah, holla at us. Let's do it. Uh, uh. Ah, we back, we back, second half. You already know, we kick off every second half with elite scumbaggery. And if you don't know what that is, that's what somebody does some scumbag shit, but they pull it off in elite fashion, so we gotta shout them out. This week's elite scumbag is none other than Chief Baltazar Iganga. Freaky nigga from Africa. That's hitting everybody's Every wife. Safe. Everybody wife. Nobody's He's hitting wife everybody's wife. Nobody's wife is safe. You know what I mean? Minister defenses, all type presidents, of all type of presidents, brothers, all type. wife. He's hitting uncle, everything. Wife, sisters, friends. He's hitting everything. B. And he recorded it so they know that. And it was he's consent. recording all of it. He recorded all of it. All the bitches was super hyped, super eager to get the cop. Looking in the camera. Looking in the smiling. camera, cheese and smiling. And letting him go raw. Yeah, let him go raw. Bang Insane up. work. You feel me? Now, I don't really condone in the hitting of niggas you know's wives because that's just like too mixy. It's like too out of control. But I got to respect it. Like, <laughs> like, just because it's like, yo, to be able to hit that many niggas wives, like, you was definitely that, that means you lit something. Like, you, if lit. Some, you got something going on to where they like, yo, fuck my husband. I'm going to let you violate me. And it wasn't money because he's clearly not people, cashing he out. He's not cashing out, and he was hitting wives of people that were higher ranked. Got more breach <laughs> than got him. Got way more money than him. Yeah. So he was just on a straight demon. Like, yeah. yo, I'm a sniper. He's a sniper, worldwide sniper. Man. Worldwide sniper. Yeah, that nigga, yeah. the worldwide sniper award, man. Fuck you talking about? Shout out to him. Yeah, man. Shout out to him, man. I I wish he'd put a little more distance between it. Like, hit some niggas. Fall, hit some niggas that you don't know at all, wives. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, boy, fuck it, man. It is what it is. At least come back you gotta shout it out. There's a lot been going on in the sports world. Let's talk some NBA. Talk to new, but new up and running, rocking and rolling. Drake mean mugging niggas at to, at the Raptors game. Me Drake mugging. is spiraling. Me me mugging the DeMar DeRozan. Drake is spiraling. <laughs> With the corny shit. He's spiraling. DeMar post you see what DeMar posted on his IG story? Is the smoky shit, yeah, the smoky Debo shit. shit. Yeah. He said, you know, niggas be talking that shit. I'll be quiet. When he leave, I'll be talking again. That's what he be doing. That's what he be doing. And at the end of the day, Drake, like, we're not going to be on the sideline, fake talking tough to NBA players and all that. Like, 
Like, it, it's just weird. Like, you're spiraling now, bro. Like, stop, like, you so caught up in your ego. I don't know, you trying to get back on some tough shit now. Um, Let's take the L and roll, bro. For sure. The East is extremely dirt. Just wanted to say that. Just put that out there. Eastern Conference is dirt. Only the Celtics and the Cavs, only ones with winning records in the East. Can you believe I that? I mean, it's early. It's disgusting. It's early. There's a lot it's of early. injuries. You got a lot of new players trying to mesh in Bucks and all are that. Bucks six. Is it early or is it yeah, is it nasty? One and six is nasty. I mean, one and six is definitely nasty. Sixes are one and six, but I mean, but, at least they have they got niggas injured. Bucks is one and six with Giannis and Dame playing, even though Dame didn't play. Giannis ain't played last night. Um, I want to say, can we stop hiring Doc Rivers? Like, you know what? Why? I can't. Because he's a black man, I'm always all for the black man still getting chances. Because there's a lot of mediocre I niggas getting chances. So assistant coach, it's hard for me to, Let him be an assistant coach. somewhere. Like it just Nate, McMillan, Nate McMillan is an assistant, assistant coach right now. Nate yeah, McMillan yeah. is a way better coach than Doc Rivers. It's if Doc nasty. Rivers could be a head coach, Nate could be a head yeah, coach. Yeah, I, I didn't like You was all for the Nate fire, and I wasn't behind that. But we'll get into that. But, um, yeah, it's just a nasty combination with him and Darvin Ham on the bench. It just doesn't look. It's just terrible optics. They're getting smacked. They're getting embarrassed. <laughs> Um, how about this rumor mill? Giannis for Towns and a bunch of picks and OG and an OB because at this point you can't even trade tra Towns yet. Are you sure? They just traded for him. They did rules to this shit. I know. I I don't know. I just read that on the rumor mill. That that's what that's what they're looking at. It, it's a while before you can trade Towns. It's like a little buffer period. You can't just trade for a nigga and trade him immediately back out. I mean, we'll see how the season plays out. I don't think Giannis is gonna be on the Bucks by the end of the year. I'm I'm that's where I'm at. Not even by the end of the year. Nah. Not even all season. I don't think he gets it off season. I think it just continues to be nasty. Brooke Lopez is old. Chris Middleton yeah. doesn't have any ankles. Still trying to like the fact. You know what the Bucks Dang problem don't is? Don't want to be there. Like, you keep he... trying to retread it. Like how much Pat Connaughton are you gonna give me? Like <laughs> you feel me? Like you have to switch the roster up, bro. Mm -hmm. like, I get I get the value of consistency, but at some point it's like come on, bro. Like they put Drew Holiday on a player and get to the Celtics a chip. That was insane to me. You know what I mean? Like. I have no defense. If you watch the Bucks, every guard that plays the Bucks is for niggas to fan to up and give you a gem. If you got a guard going against the Milwaukee Bucks, please pick him because he's gonna go the fuck off. The guards are averaging like thirty points per game. Dame never Dame guarded never nobody. Guarded nobody. And he's still not guarding nobody. <laughs> so that's just what's going on. If Pat Connaughton is your lockdown option, you're fucked. You're fucked, bro. It's it's nasty. No, it's nothing. It's nothing mm -hmm. going on over there. They no. got it's Torian Prince and Gary Trent. Gary Trent and <laughs> Gary Trent's Gary not guarding Trent nobody. And Damian Lillard are your back. Guard, <laughs> Gary Trent's not guarding That's nobody. He can on. shoot, but he can't he guard can't nobody. Shoot, he can't guard nobody. Torian, Torian Prince, Prince is washed. Can, yeah, he's old. He's old. Brooke Lopez is old. Like Bobby Portis, he's on his last leg. He's been in the league for over ten. So it's he's nasty. a good. He's a good off the bench energy dude. He is good. Dude. He's good. I energy like Bobby nigga, Portis, but you can't. You're not banking on that. He's not going to take yeah. you to the promised land. And Yan and Yan at the end of the day, Yan is getting older. He can't carry the, as much low, all that low that he was carrying like two, three, four years ago. I like him in New York. Sixers nasty, but that's just because Embiid been hurt. He got suspended three games because he pushed the reporter. Stop bringing up people's dead family. Shout out to Embiid for pushing the reporter. Yeah. At the end uh, of the day, the way the reporter like constructed that statement was, was crazy wild, crazy it was no reason for it to say you don't like it, know me you bro honor your son and your dead brother this play, play more play basketball like are you fucking you dumb? don't know me bro i was crazy why do you think you can even say that? like that's so insane to, you know what i think like we're in a full-blown real live troll era i think he did that shit on purpose to get clicks clickbait to get attention to get a rise out of mb like he did that on purpose. He knew he was out of line. There's yeah. no way you didn't know you was out of line, bro. That was just an egregious clickbait. It's just it was, wild disrespectful. Yeah. OD disrespectful. Full blown troll season, bro. He, he he knew he was violating, bro. He just wanted to see what would happen. Yeah, I agree. It's like the shorty that called Lamar Jack a running back. The quarterbacky. Remember when she said he's not quarterback enough? Remember that yeah. one? Yeah. That was crazy. This is the disrespect, but the East is still dirt. Banchero out. I, I liked Orlando early. I'm upset about that. I don't like Banchero being out. I don't like Banchero. I don't disgusting. like Banchero being out. He gave niggas a 50 ball right off the bat. You know what I mean? I like Banchero. That's nasty. Fran, Fran's going to step up, but I mean. It's not enough. I still see Orlando going to the playoffs, though. Wendell Carter hurt, too. I still see Orlando going to the playoffs. Because the East is so dirt. Yeah. They could figure it out. They going to figure it out. Yeah. There's only two teams with winning records. They'll be fine. You know what I mean? Somebody's going to turn it on. The Knicks is going to end up with a winning record. Yeah, they're 500. But that's still what five more playoff spots <laughs> for us. That's up for grabs. Yeah. Does Miami make a move? I 
They got it. Right, if they don't, you said yeah, it might be too early for Towns, but I could see Miami making a move for Dame. Somebody they got the draft capital. Yeah, I think Bucks should just blow the shit up. And, I think and, and the rebuild. Bucks should rebuild. It's time. Yeah, it's time. Like your championship window's closed. It's closed. Stop trying to remix it. Your championship window's yeah. closed. Get rid of your assets. All they don't even players. have my assets. Just get rid of yeah. What do you mean? Don't have, I mean, have Giannis I was, and I, was, I, I meant to say like draft picks. I was like, yeah, hey, not, I need draft picks. I yeah. said, like, yeah, get rid of your, your, your star players and get the draft yeah. picks. Yeah. That's what I meant. Get rid of Giannis and Dame. Load up on picks and young guys with potential mm -hmm. and, and, and remix it. And be remix, run it back. Over. Like, chill out. Y'all got a ring out of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Y'all yeah, got a recent ring. Look, this, you got to do what the Celtics did, right? Back in the day, when, the, when it was the end of their run, where they had Paul Pierce and KG and all them niggas. Packed they all, all them niggas with no respect got mad draft picks and drafted the future. Drafted Tatum, the Brown, uh-uh. Wow. Just trade and move, move some shit around, do what they had to do. That's how you keep it going. Yeah. Same thing at OKC. Look at them. They off them niggas. A couple of niggas left. And they say, you know what? We got to off the rest of y'all because we're not winning no chip with y'all. Get some picks. Get, get a new blood in there I remember and figure it out. It was like, yo, Sam Press is getting a hoarding all these picks and look how that shit played out. Amazing. At the end of the day, it's the new blood and it's always somebody new coming. There's always a new blood, bro. New nice if you nigga. keep enough top 10 picks, you'll figure it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the way you blow it is you keep holding on to niggas forever, like the Lakers. Hold on to niggas until they, till they 48 and then, because for money, and then you just in the doldrums forever. In the doldrums. Eighth seed, ninth seed, tenth seed, forever. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to the Lakers, though. Shout out to LeBron in year twenty two, still doing his thing. I th I like what LeBron is. I mean, at the end of the day, LeBron is is a, 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 a separate situation. But the Lakers been making the same mistakes forever. Yeah, they, they held Kobe. Kobe too long. They held Kobe forever. They held they hold him. LeBron is actually producing, is so it's a little different. Man. But at the end of the day, there's a certain way you got to go about rebuilding. You got to blow it up, yeah. off niggas, and keep it rolling. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Um, Monday Night Football. Mahomes looked great. You slandered him. You said he was going to throw picks and shit. I did. I did. Um, shout out to D-Hop. I had him on two of my fantasy teams. Yo, he showed up for me. I will say I'm sorry to the nigga on TikTok that on, on a live stream on Monday that I told... I told you, Kelsey ain't do shit, though. I said, Kelsey. What you mean he ain't do shit? What Kelsey had last day? He had like 13 catches. What are you talking about? I'm going to go check the stats on What? He, did he get to the end zone? I don't think so. But he had a great, he had an amazing game, dog. Okay. Kelsey had like 13 catches last night. I know he ain't scored though. I didn't see him in the end. Yeah, wow catches in like a hundred yards. He went crazy. Copy. But I will say, to the guy that I informed that I that I told don't start D Hop, start Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt still had a sturdy game. He had a buck and chains and a TD and a tutty. Well, he ain't have a D Hop game. He ain't have a D Hop game. <laughs> but it was like I didn't expect D Hop to learn the pl fucking playbook that fast. Yeah. Like all the other traded receivers did not learn a playbook first week. D Hop first game was out there going crazy. Oh, yeah, you're right. Tra Travis did get his shit off. Travis 14, went crazy. D Hop had six eighty six and two tutties. The tutties look great, but Tra great. Travis was moving the ball up and down. That, that was who was getting the ball all Copy. game. Copy. But um, Mahomes yeah, looked Chiefs, great. Mahomes looked great. Mahomes nah, looked great. A, he got a weapon. But the Bucks is still still the Bucks is the Bucks holding sturdy. They like they they competitive, but they're just not winning. Them niggas should have went for two. Like Ty Bo, you can't. You got them niggas on the ropes. You got to go for two. You're on the road. Sorry. Yeah, like Don't you, you got to play to win. You got to play to win. Play to win, Todd Bowles. You're playing niggas that's undefeated. You got to play to win. Baby. Play to win, Todd Bowles. And you and you and you and you, and you shaky. You you trying to stay alive in the division. Falcons have run away with it. You got to do all you yeah, can do you to get the do dub. You got to do all you can do, B. I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that conservative shit. You know what I'm I, saying? I was like, yo, go for two, bro. Go Might for two. Well. Shot to Kate Otten. Yeah. Kate Otten's getting busy without the without uh, Goodwin and, and Mike Evans, man. Shout out to Kate Otten. in one of my leagues. Shout out to Kate Otten, man. He's been sturdy for a couple years. Solid, solid tight end, nigga, man. Shout out to Kate. Shout out to Kate Otten, man. Got the job done, man. He did. Um... John Morant did some old freaky shit last night. Nigga said, we're done with the 90s. Please don't show that Jordan layup when he's going up and under anymore. That's normal now. Niggas, we're seeing that on an everyday That's Reggie basis. Pack. Yeah. That Jordan up and under that layup is, is like, normal dude, now. Like, shit, like, you don't want to see that shit. You can show that shit in slow motion all you want. Yeah, you're not fooling me. You're not like, fooling you're me anymore. Here, like, now it's kind of it's regular. When I got older and I seen it in game speed, I was really unimpressed. But the way, like, the NBA drugged it up when you was a kid, like, I was No homo, the tongue out, like, the, the tongue out gassed it. They gassed it, and every time I would only see it in slow motion. So it looked amazing, but when you see it in games, it's like, all right, he did a little light up. He changed his joint. Back then, that was crazy though. Niggas, was. Wasn't, niggas ain't had that in their in repertoire but back 
but yeah. Ja just did it twice. And Ja went like He went this, crate and back. Three, six, three, six, six spun up an arm. That was on, bro. crazy. Like, Niggas saying, D Ro- Niggas saying second coming to D-Rose. Like, yo, D-Rose, thanks for your contribution, but we got a new you. We got a new nigga. Yeah, yeah. Ja got bungees. Memphis ain't really nice this year, but Ja got bungees. He taking them to the playoffs. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, that's not a hot take. Man, it's John, Mar- it's John Moran res- resurgence year, man. I see him. Is he gonna make, is he gonna be all star? It's just it's just hard to say with the West. Too many like, politics. Too many niggas. Like Steph's a lock, right? Luca's a lock. SGA is Steph is a lock? lock? Whoa, whoa. I'll say, oh, I'll, clout? Oh, oh, like clout. fan vote, fan oh, vote, fan vote, clout. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, he ain't even, even if he don't get a starter slot, like he'll get the, the reserve spot. You know what I mean? Nah, to, to just pick him without, without the, the coaches can't just pick him without the stats. Be. That's Steph's only... not, if Steph is averaging like a, a, a calm 25, he's going to make the all star team. Yeah. It's Steph. Like, it's you, know, Steph. Come on. you know what I mean? It's just a lot of niggas over there. Plus Ant Man. You know what I mean? Ant Man got to be an all star. Got to be an all star. Got to be. SGA, Luca. Like, I don't know how many guards can you put on the team. Yeah. Damn. And then it's like, he going to be battling out with niggas like D Book and shit. You know what I'm saying? D book got to be all star this year. I ain't gonna lie. Like him and KD me? is black. They on shit. KD oh my on shit. Bro. God, bro. Exactly. KD and book is like on some like, like I feel like they must have been watching replays of them getting swept all 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 summer, cause they are out here like. On you know what they f- say? Blood. Every time like niggas like at the Olympics when they usually have a sturdy season. Like, yeah, that's yeah, 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 so, yeah. And they was on Olympic team together. They was that, that, that all that they ain't really lose no rhythm all, yeah, all summer. That they matters. Been playing competitive basketball. They was on the team together. That super matters. They've been on the team together all summer. Nah, that matters. Facts. That matters. Um, let's pack this joint up, man. Yeah, we get into our favorite thing. segment. B. Talk to me. You want me to start it off? I will jump it off. At all set, we. Got a favorite segment, what we say, what we all set on, what we not feeling, what we want packed up this week or forever. However we feeling. I'm all set on Fanny fucking Willis. Forever and ever and ever. I voted against you today. I want that white woman to take your job. I'm sick of you. You locked up all my favorite rappers on fake Rico charges. I'm sick of you. I want you out of the city. I'm done with you. I don't want no more Fannie Willis DA. And the fact she took her nigga on mad trips on taxpayer dollars and nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> she hired her nigga for a job he was unqualified for, got called out on it, gave, paid the nigga, and had the nigga take her on trips with the money she paid him. She's taxpayer crazy. dollars, all finagle. She's dirtbag. She's a dirtbag. She's a dirtbag. Less Fannie. All set on Fannie Willis, man. Fuck out of here. What you all set on, Free? I'm all set on you niggas. Um, all you campaign niggas texting my phone. Like, let this be the last day. I'm on my way to vote. I might be a little late, but please stop texting me. And enough is enough. Like, y'all oh dear. I get it. Y'all want niggas to vote to vote for your candidate. But, like, I feel like this year was just, like, nonstop with this shit. The like, personal text was weird. It was like, hey, yeah. I'm Steve in front of fucking yeah. the hotel. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Like. Hit your, hit your election. Da, da, da. Man, how you get my number, Steve? Yeah, like, excuse me? The fuck? Shit is ridiculous. That was crazy. But, um, yeah, that's our show. Make sure y'all niggas... Allsetpod.store, man. Hello. Go cop up, man. Support the game, man. Vote if get you, you something, to. man. Get you some. We still here. Rich about to go to Bali. Do his one, too. Oh, yeah. I'm, we, I ain't even mentioned that. It's my birthday, y'all niggas, man. Shout to me, man. We out of here. I'm out of here. Hey, when's your birthday? Thursday? My birthday is on Sunday. Oh, Sunday. I don't know what day that's going to be. I don't know when Sunday is in Bali, but I'm out of here. Um, I'm getting on the flight tonight just in case Trump and his team blow this shit up. (laughs) (laughs) You know, it's going to be sick if he lose. Yo. He definitely going to blow some shit up. Yo, the flight to London is full. I just want to let you know tonight. The flight to London is full. On a Tuesday? The flight to London is full. What the fuck is going on? People is getting out of here. That's what you need to know. Yo, nah, the flight on the London on Tuesday is full as wild crazy, man. Like, what the fuck is going on? What's yo, that about? Yo, I'm just I'm just telling you, the flight to London tonight is full. Well, make sure you have a safe flight, my nigga. I'm going to be safe or y'all going to be safe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because somebody knows something. I don't know. I know election night, a lot of MAGA, a lot of MAGA. We in Georgia. I'm getting out of here, man. Y'all have a good one, man. That's our show. Uh-uh. Thanks for watching. All set pod die store. Holla.